Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing extremely well. So I'm making this video because I've recently moved house. So since you've known me over the last few years, I've always lived at my mother-in-law's house uh, with Alison there, and I've been kind of shut away in a weird little room, dark little room. Uh, not that I'm not grateful, but uh, and now um, I've now got my own house. We've finally finished moving in in the last few days. This is January 2000, well, from February 2020, and we've got a brand new setup. So uh, it will be my delight to show you. So this is my office. Here's the shelves with all my super files. These are my memorabilia. This is my stuff when I was doing my granddad research, uh, my baby clothes and stuff. This is stuff from you guys that have been on aeroplanes, various bombing flights and stuff in places that I'm not allowed to mention. Um, this is stuff you, a lot of you guys have sent me. And here's my lovely view. Woot woot, woot woot. I've got a view and a window now. That's a real double glazed window. And it's not freezing cold, it's lovely. Here is my actual setup. So where do we start? Um, so I've decided to treat myself. So we've got a chair. This is an actual chair that's designed to be sat on and be relatively comfortable. And it is, so that's really nice. Happy with that. Um, here is my desk. It's glass there, MDF there, and glass there. We've got our router. I've paid for the best uh, internet I can get, uh, which is relatively expensive, but it is really nice and fast now. The limiting factor now on streaming and gaming and stuff like that is now the PC. The PC is a bit old, and we'll go through that in a bit. That's Poo Poo. Hello, Poo Poo. Are you good, Poo Poo? Yes, you are good. Here is my telephone for doing business calls and ting. Here is my cup. You'll notice the size of it. If I put it next to Pooh's head, you see the size of the cup? It is like a litre big, and that's because I have large sessions with RC where I can. I don't have time to get up. That's old Poo Poo. That's Barnacles. And he's a good boy as well, but he's dead now. That's that. Next is the screens. We've now moved on to two screens. Both these screens were donated by viewers. I rely on donations a lot from you guys, and I'm very lucky because you guys are very generous. That was donated by uh, a viewer and a good friend, and that was donated by a viewer and a good friend as well. So we've now got two screens. I never had a room for it before, uh, and now I do. So what I can do now is do, you know, the DCS or whatever on that one, and I can now have the stream going. So I've started streaming again now because I've, my internet didn't used to be good enough. But it is just about now, and if I went to that and uh, you know, super cap, and you can see we've got our beautiful boys there, and I can actually answer questions and stuff now because I can actually see what you're saying. Uh, so that's that. Um, normal keyboard. My track IR is still a DLAN clip, so that's an old PS2 camera uh, with this tiny little $5 clip here. IR clip that I've just sellotaped to my cheap headset, and this is interesting. So I've got track IR. Um, you guys, because you're generous guys, have sent me numerous track IRs uh, because you've moved to um, uh, uh, VR. I've got track IR genuine there, track IR genuine there, which is very nice. I'm going to probably end up giving these away competitions. Um, I've just stuck with my old one. I actually prefer my old one. The main reason is that. If you start DCS up, and it takes quite a long time for us to start DCS up, all of our games involve at least 25 humans getting logged on and in position and stuff like that. And if you forget to um, do your track IR before you start DCS, then to get it to work, you have to actually quit DCS, start it up before DCS, and then go into DCS again. Now that's a massive pain in the butt, especially if you're doing big games like us that take a long time to get into and stuff. Whereas this, DLAN clip and open track as it pig, stop it. Open track, you can start it up any time. Uh, so although the product may not be as good, the ability to be able to start in the middle of DCS makes it well worth it, and so I just can't face switching over to real track. Like that. That's the story behind that. Next, we're going to the controls. So um, I'm in between switching between Warthog and X56. So this is about X56, I bought it for £80 uh, off a buddy, which is really good, and it served me beautifully. Um, excellent stick, to be honest, I highly recommend it. I know people don't like the plastic. It is plasticky and, and not the best quality, but to be honest, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, if anything, I prefer the plastic. Um, got that there. I've done a video about all my setups and stuff like that. And we're slowly moving over. Sorry about the background noise, but Pip, he's being mad pussy cat, I'm afraid. I'm moving over to this, which is the Warthog stick. Now, this is very different. This is metal. I'm guessing it's aluminium or steel. I don't, I don't really know. And it's night and day between that 
than that. So far, I actually much prefer this. This is very loose, much worse quality, very loose, just springs about on a spring down there. Uh, but I like that because it's got no resistance at all. Like I can literally, you know, it's, I can do anything like that, and that's how I can fly close. This is the polar opposite. This is like pushing. It's like if you're what they call chads or something, they go into gyms and do weights and stuff. This is the kind of resistance I'd expect to have in there. It's so hardcore, so that's going to take some getting used to. Not switched over to, to it yet, that will come a little bit later down the line. Uh, this was donated by a very kind uh, member, just thank you very much for that. Uh, so that's that what we're doing. Got my little pull out thing there where I keep my diary and my notes uh, for doing tutorials. Uh, now, pedals haven't arrived yet, they're stuck in the post at the moment and I haven't, I haven't had time to go and get them, but pedals are on the way from a uh, generous uh, member, so I will have pedals soon. Um, I've got bad legs, uh, but they've got a little bit better since since the cancer was dealt with, so we're a little bit better. That's Poo Poo's um, hideout, she never uses it because she's always fighting things. But that is Poo Poo's hideout for when I come and work in here. Uh, what have we got next? We've got just a printer, it's just a black and white thing, does the job. More files, um, in case it gets too hot in here, I've got my shorts, in case it gets too cold in here, I've got my jumper, uh, just spare bits there. That is my diary, um, for doing diary things. That comes to the PC itself, I say the internet connection is super fast too, uh, if that means anything to you. The computer itself is actually hidden way behind there, and um, it's an interesting hobgoblin mix of a thing. It has, it's still my original four year old i5, uh, so it's an old i5 processor and that's why I'm stuck with that at the moment. Uh, that's what I'm struggling with because um, although I've got all the internet in the world now, I don't have the processing power to actually stream and fly DCS and all that stuff, so um, uh, it's a real, uh, that's my bottleneck at the moment. Um, RAM has been increased from 16 gig to 32 gig by a generous viewer that sent that to me for free, so that's much appreciated. The 1070 GTX card, NVIDIA, has been changed to a 1080 GTX by, again, a generous viewer just sent it to me. And I've still got the 1070, which I'll either give away or um, I will keep as a backup just in case. Um, you know, if, if I go down, then I'm screwed basically. We've got three SSDs in there now and one mechanical hard disk. Mechanical hard disk is for uh, all the videos I do. The SSDs are for Armour and for DCS. Those are the only two video games I have installed. Uh, so that's that. It's okay. It's just about surviving, but it's going to need upgrading soon. Motherboard and uh, I uh, processor is just starting to struggle with the kind of stuff we do nowadays. That's all I can think of saying. So let's do a wide shot and I think we'll sign off. Poo Poo, have you got anything to say? Fine. Alright, we'll sign off there. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.